Welcome back guys, this is Simon here from SciFit and in this video here I'll be talking about when we are feeling stuck in life and what we're going to do about it. See, when we're feeling stuck in life, it comes back to basically just awareness, you know. Awareness about where are we going in life? Where do we want to go? What do we want to experience? What do we want to feel? What do we want to see, taste, touch? Basically, when you're feeling stuck in life, it's because you don't have any purpose. You don't have anything that pulls you towards something out in the future that makes you excited in the present that can pull you towards the new thing. So what you're basically going to focus on here right now, you're not going to focus on the, the big thing here. What I would like you to focus on is just focusing on one new thing. So are we talking about weight loss, getting in shape, transforming your body? Focusing on one new thing could basically just be going for a walk in the morning. It could basically just be emptying your kitchen and making sure you're not filling it up with shit stuff. It could be meal prepping on a Sunday. It could be hiring a person you train, or buying a new program, research something. Focusing on one new thing in the area where you're feeling stuck in your life right now. When you start doing that, well, then you just slightly move into movement again. And when you start going into movement, well, you will start experiencing progress. And when you start experiencing progress, well, then your excitement starts increasing, your happiness, your joy, your, you know, your positivity uh, for the opportunities in the future will increase because you're moving towards something. When we are feeling stuck in life, we can't think about possibilities in the future. We can't think about what's possible out there because when we're feeling stuck, you're just going to remember this is just a current state. It's because you don't have the clarity and you're sitting in a little hole and you might have sit there for a long, long time. I'm here to tell you that a current mood, a current situation, a current state is only current, right? When you're feeling sick and you're laying on the couch, you can't really think about running for the president of the United States. When you're laying with hangover after Sunday, you can't really think about going up and do a speech in front of 10,000 people. You don't want to go out for a big marathon run when you've been out and blowing it out over the whole weekend. So that's what I mean again here. When you're sitting and you're feeling stuck, when you're thinking negative, disempowering thoughts about yourself, you can't think about possibilities out there in the future. So what we're basically gonna need you to do here in the first thing, and we're basically just gonna get you to move. We're gonna get you to make the first move, get the first step going, and then start developing momentum, start developing new habits, and then actually going in that direction you wanna go consistently. Because when you start riding on the momentum wave, you will start experiencing joy, happiness, and excitement for the things. When you start doing that, well, then you start developing a little bit more belief in that you start believing that this is actually possible for me. I can get in shape now. This is the time where I said enough is enough. I'm not gonna lay on the couch anymore after work and do fuck all. I'm gonna do the things that's necessary for me to actually getting the results I want. And that's what I mean. When you start getting into the mindset of this is possible for me, well, you start seeing new opportunities coming for you. Are you going for a new career? Are you? getting into a new relationship, are you moving to a new country? When you start getting into that and you start actually experiencing that, I can do more. I am capable of doing the things I said two years ago I wanted to do six months ago. I'm like, look at me right now, I'm a brand new person. When you start experiencing those things, your belief, your self-image, your self-esteem, your self-confidence, your self Belief in yourself is just increasing massively. And when you start increasing that point of view massively, I promise you, you will become a new person. You will take new action. You will get new belief and you will ultimately see your life change in that area. So focus on one new thing and then just move slowly in that direction, step by step, one foot in front of the other. When you start experiencing progress and, 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 and momentum in that area, will you start experiencing happiness and joy and excitement for the future when you are on a frequent of 
opportunities and excitement and, and positivity for the things, you start thinking totally different. You start developing new self-belief, new self-joy, a self-image of everything is possible. When you start going into that state of you, everything becomes possible for you. Thank you so much for listening. Um, if you'd like to see more of those videos here, please hit the button below, subscribe, uh, hit the like button, leave a comment. What would you like to see more of? I'm here to serve you in all the platforms in terms of you know, the mindset, what is the mindset behind actually getting the results with our body? And then of course the mechanics behind the training and the nutrition. But the mindset here is a big, big factor in terms of actually getting and sustaining the results long term. So super, super excited to be able to share these things with you guys. Leave a comment below. Remember to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.